another match of the winner's bracket for right. It's uh, Mind Break Disaster, I oh, can't even speak, MB Disaster versus Lunch Break. What is the MB for? Can someone, uh, is it Mind Break? Uh, yeah, his group. Oh, here we go. Roy and Fox. Because after we saw last week, had a pretty solid Fox. Ooh, just but whiffed. He faced some serious problems against Cephalon, if I remember right, playing as Roy. This is going to be really interesting because it's the same matchup character-wise, but Lunchable is swapping out for Cephalon. Let's see if, how Disaster is able to adjust to this new player. Oh, great use of the forward smash. Bates with the down, and then capitalizes so beautifully. So beautiful. I really like the the presence that we're. Oh, such! He Back makes air? it no. look so easy. He makes it look He's so using smooth. these up tilts and these up airs. Wow! Side smash. This is fantastic. And work. Disaster is such a bad position. Such a bad position. It's gonna be really hard. The momentum is clearly in Lunchable's favor. Look at how fast he's moving. Like, look at his hands on the controller. These guys are looking like they're putting in as many inputs as StarCraft. It's intense. Gets another grab. Oh, this is not good. He's right above him. He manages to escape. Good stuff on Disaster, but can he escape from this as well? No, he cannot. Woo. Are we going to have a four-stock Disaster? Ah. Disaster is a solid player. Uh, I don't this know isn't the first time that Disaster, though. Oh, oh, barely mistimes the counter. It was a good read, just a little bit too early. Oh, lets him back on the stage. This is going to be a rough one. That was very uncharacteristic of Disaster. This is just ridiculous. So you, can, you know the mentality right now. Disaster is doing everything in his power not to get four stock. And I feel like Lunchable, to some extent, is going to capitalize on those nerves. Yeah. And... No, that's not it. That's, that's it. it. Lunch Lunchable's... Such a dominating performance. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. It happens to everybody. Yeah, he needs to he needs to cue the Taylor Swift and shake it off. Yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was the worst joke in the history oh of jokes. <laughs> that was such a bad joke. Oh my god. <laughs> it's times like these, man, where it's just you gotta find the humor in it. You gotta, you gotta find the humor in it. Dust, bring your pull yourself up, yeah. dust yourself off, try again, go real hard. Definitely. And like I said before, getting for me personally, like Especially now that I'm learning melee and PM, yeah. some of the best things that happen to me are those four stocks. Because I enjoy getting four stocks so I can say, okay, you four stocked me. I will never let that happen again. It gives you that fire, and if we're lucky, we might unlock Try Hard Disaster. That would be oh, fun to watch. I want to see this. Uh, he's got to find what he did wrong that match. And once he figures that out, he will break the cycle and he will come back in that much stronger. Well, definitely, like, what do you think that he did wrong? From from my perspective, it's just seeing, like, Lunchable did such a good di job of dictating the flow he of the match. He just dictated the pace immediately off the gate. He put him on his heels, and he didn't let him breathe. Yeah, and Fox is one of those characters who's known for putting on pressure. That's one of the reasons Fox is so good, because he just put on so much inescapable pressure, but he didn't get to play his game at he all. He didn't get to put any pressure whatsoever. I didn't see any Fox pressure, really. A couple of stray hits here and there, but nothing significant. Uh, Some grabs begin. It's not good. Wow. Smash. Yeah, that's a stock, buddy. And it was still some solid DI by by Disaster, but uh, still not enough. Uh, that's a rough spot. Well, let's see if you can make it up. You know, Fox has the ability to, to kind of get some of these stocks out of nowhere sometimes with that shine. Face it out, buddy. Oh, well. In a bad position. Team. Ends up making it back anyways. Oh, Ooh, that's good. what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm Excellent. talking about. Already doing like 100% better than the last match. It's a tie <laughs> game. It's a tie game. Great use of the, of the shine. Ooh, here he comes. Great poke. Nobody's trying to get in. Good clink. We got good the shine. Single laser. I really like how they're reading each other right here. This after fearless, just trying to come in, and this but is being smart about it. This is so much chance. Both of these players are playing so intelligently Ooh. right now. Waits for the dodge, Text capitalizes. Book. Disaster for the first time in this set has taken the lead. Great stuff. And this is a great presence of mind, and just not letting the, that last match get back to you. We're seeing a completely different match. See. It seems like, uh, even though uh, 
Disaster isn't really putting on too much pressure. What yeah. he's doing is that he's letting Lunchables think he's dictating the match and then be counter punching so efficiently. Yes. So efficiently, sneaking in those those spikes. Oh, oh wow! No, why did you do that? Please don't. Disaster, do that. why you do this? It's because I, it's because I complimented him. That's why. It's because I complimented him. Don't don't compliment me. I don't want to get hurt. Please. <laughs> Nebby's commentary being so top tier right no! now. <laughs> All of a sudden, you lose your ability to speak. Uh, <laughs> Let's get back into oh it. Oh my goodness, that smash. Great string of attacks there. And just like that, 2-0 uh, in Lunchable's favor. Props on Disaster for making that second game look completely different. You know, he had such a great strategy, that counterpuncher strategy. Yeah. But Lunchable's at the end was able to adapt to it and even yes. throw off that game as well. Phenomenal stuff. Great work.